You know what I've got? I've got the need. The need for Road and Track presents the need for speed. All the way from 1994, it's the first Need for Speed video game. And you know what more driving games need? More people in your face yelling at you. On the road and in your face. What a drive. What a driver. All the yeah. Same. Wor- what? I, I don't know who this is, but they have the exact same haircut I had in 1994. Start, you are bound for glory with your foot to the floor, baby. Woo! Cut. Do it again with more enthusiasm. While this game has terrible menus and some truly awkward yet lovable cutscenes that are worth playing the game just to enjoy. You got the nerve to push the envelope, man. Got some skill, that's that's what it takes. Road and Track presents The Need for Speed is a solid racing game. Ahead of its time in 1994. You handle cops like that, you might want to consider a career move. You got it, bro, but I'll start by just changing vehicles. There's a number of great cars in the game. Corvette ZR1, Viper, Lamborghini Diablo, Ferrari 512TR, Supra, RX-7, NSX, and the unlockable El Camino, which I just made up. But I got your attention. You should get extra points every time you crash into a custom van. That son of a bitch just passed me! Get back here! It's hard to remember back in 94 that most driving games were an arcade style like OutRun. This one was going for more of a realistic driving style and succeeds for the era. The objective in Road and Track presents the need for speed is to race against another driver and win. On lengthy road courses, the game feels a lot like Test Drive to the Duel, which was also an awesome game. So if you enjoyed that one, you, you might really dig this one. Speed. It's a freaky thing. It's like they filmed those in a parking lot with a case of beer. That sounds like an awesome afternoon. The lengthy road courses are broken up into three stages, presumably to give the game a chance to load and deliver the highly quotable cutscenes. In doing that, it makes it feel like you're driving a rally game on the road. And you're timed for each of the segments, it's very well executed. More so than many of the modern racing games, in fact. So you've done this before. Well, what do you want, a hero biscuit? Sure, if you have any. I'll have one of those beers behind you to wash it down with. Much of Road and Track presents The Need for Speed is about loving cars. In addition to replicating the interior cockpits and handling of each of the vehicles, as well as sound, The Need for Speed also has some erotic car porn videos to enjoy. Oh yeah, baby, open those doors, turn on those headlights, yeah! It gets even better because the music changes for each vehicle. Nice. What it really comes down to in the end is the driving, and for a 1994 release, Road and Track presents the need for speed. It is about the best that you could hope for back in the day, certainly for a home console game. The 3DO continues to impress me with smooth gameplay and well above average sound quality for the day. This game was donated by Mohammed, our good friend in Qatar. Thank you, he goes by the username maj2k2 these days. And I've really enjoyed this generous donation. This one's, this one's a lot of fun. And the 3DO was several years ahead of its time. And also quite expensive back in the day, so if you paid that much for the game console, you certainly deserved a game this good. Solid gameplay, great cars, and beautiful visuals that make you feel like you're actually driving somewhere. Road and Track presents the need for speed. Now, what they need to do is 
reuse these exact same cutscenes on the next Need for Speed game. I'm a bit bitter, but hey, I'll live. In fact, I'll live forever. Digitally immortalized. You, on the other hand, will die one day. <laughs>